Perhaps the best opportunity to make a pioneering investment in prevention is the potential to eliminate the liabilities associated with hazardous product which remains in the external piping of a cargo tank. Commonly known as wet lines, the term refers to the external loading pipes which are fixed to the bottom of a cargo tank and which will retain hazardous liquid after the cargo tank has been bottom loaded with product. Since these pipes are exposed and prone to broadside impacts, they have a sacrificial weak point which has been designed to fail in an accident in order to protect the integrity of the cargo tank and the emergency valves to which they're attached. Unfortunately, this strategy protects the product within the cargo tank by guaranteeing the loss of the product remaining in the wet lines. When the product is a flammable such as gasoline, it is at great risk of going on fire in the vicinity of both the loaded cargo tank and individuals who may be incapable of fleeing the area due to injury or entrapment. The total volume in this demonstration is 41 gallons. However, in a five compartment tanker, capacities of up to 50 gallons can be reached. Since the advent of bottom loading, these wet lines have continued to confront the industry with substantial liabilities and public pressures. However, on June 11, 1998, an ideal solution to this dilemma finally became a reality. Cargo Tank Concepts is pleased to present their automated wet line purging system, which eliminates this liability in a simple, efficient, and economical way. Since the wet line purging system forces product out of the wet line and into the very compartment to which it was assigned and metered for sale, it does not interfere with normal loading and accounting practices. In addition, it is a completely automatic and independent system, demanding no connection or conversion to the loading facility and requiring no driver operation whatsoever. Since the system will automatically purge in transit or while parked, no delays are incurred and the six minute purging process is complete long before the driver can finish his paperwork and leave the terminal. Optic sensors and LED indicators constantly inform the user of the status in each individual wet line, as well as the general status of the system and its permissive conditions. The main control box also immediately identifies the presence of any emergency valves that may be leaking or stuck open, and these benefits will be discussed after we first demonstrate the basic operation of the system. As we see here, the driver has finished loading and the main control box is informing us of the presence of product in each line. The red loading gate light is also on, indicating that purging will not be permitted while a coupler is connected or the loading gate is up. Here, the driver is now fully disconnected from the loading rack and the purging process automatically begins as soon as the driver lowers the gate. Purging continues in progress as the driver pulls away from the loading bay, parks, and then proceeds to the office to complete his work. Purging is accomplished by introducing compressed air near the lowest point of the outlet piping, which forces it to bubble and rise through the gasoline. This process leaves the outlet piping in the same supersaturated condition that normally exists, and thus saves the expense of employing inert gas. Pressure within the wet line forces product to travel through the purging conduit and up into the one-half PSI check valve, which is protected inside the compartment and mounted to a removable bushing. As the liquid level in the wet line falls below an optic sensor, its corresponding indicator goes out and the system automatically and independently stops purging that particular line. Once all lines have completed the purging process, the green purging light will also go out. This will leave only the green power light remaining on, allowing the driver to easily verify that all lines have been properly purged. Since the purging process raises the liquid level in the tank only about three-eighths of an inch over the marker, 
it will not engage the high-level probes under normal circumstances. In an overload condition, however, the purging system will automatically shut down and illuminate the red high-level indicator on the main control box. The specific overloaded compartment is identified on the existing overfill system monitor. One of the greatest benefits of the wetline purging system is that it finally provides the user with a simple and continual means of detecting defective compartment valves that are either leaking or stuck open. Presently, defective valves must be detected by draining each wet line with the compartment valve closed and then waiting to see when or if the product stops draining. Such a procedure is timely, awkward, and difficult to routinely implement. With the wet line purging system, however, the user is immediately notified of any defective emergency valves by the red timeout indicator. In addition, the actual defective valves are displayed on the control unit by the amber and numbered wet line lights. It should also be noted that the system will subsequently purge in transit any residual gasoline sensed in the line due to vehicle reorientation.